This is Gary Smith of Randy Smith Funeral Home. We're honored to be sponsoring the Veteran of the Month project here on Yay 106.5. All military veterans deserve our deepest respect, recognition, and admiration for the decision they made to serve, defend, and protect our country. It's an honor to be a part of sharing some of their stories. Our Veteran of the Month for January is William Howell Jr. Mr. Howell joined the United States Air Force in 1967 with the job of air traffic controller and served in the Philippines during the Vietnam War. After eight years of service, he was honorably discharged from the United States Air Force in 1975 with the rank of tech sergeant. I was an air traffic controller, which, uh, you know, uh, we spent time in the radar unit that was located between the runways, and then uh, that was in Texas, and then in the Philippines, the radar unit was located on the flight deck, and then, uh, of course, in the tower. We were responsible, if, you know, if, if you know anything about air traffic control, of uh, takeoffs and landings and, you know, assisting in any way we could. I guess the thing that really strikes out to me was, uh, of course, I was stationed uh, at Shepard Air Force Base in Wichita Falls, Texas, and then went to the Philippines with a, a short stint in Vietnam. But the thing that stuck out was whenever we were stationed in the Philippines at Clark Air Force Base, we launched F-4 strikes daily against uh, Vietnam, against the North Vietnamese. And I remember one instance uh, whenever um, one of the F-4s, we were recovering them, got his, his cockpit blown off. It was during the thunderstorm. So he was flying blind in a thunderstorm with the rain and hail and lightning and all that hitting in, inside of the aircraft. And the only only person he could hear was me whenever he got in range. And so I, uh, I was able to, uh, to talk to him and get him on the ground. You know, I, I worked him uh, from about 120 miles out in to a final approach and got him established on final approach. And his wingman was sitting right beside him, but he couldn't communicate with his wingman. We, he couldn't hear his wingman. So his wingman uh, rode down on final with him and then, of course, did a low approach and came back around again and landed. After he landed, he came into the, uh, to the radar unit. He kissed me right in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, he, he appreciated, you know, me, me saving him. And that, that was the thing that sticks out the most for me. I think discipline, uh, self-discipline. You know, uh, when you leave mom and dad and you go, you go uh, into the military, the only thing you know, which they teach you, you know, how, to, how and when to do whatever, you know, how to fold your clothes, how to hang your clothes, how to clean your room, uh, you know, how, how to do this and how to do that, and how to make your bed, and how to, how to bounce a quarter off your bed. You know, if you have to make it that tight. And, and, uh, and even today, you know, I, I have a strong self-discipline, you know, uh, being here and being there on time and, and dressing sharply and dressing appropriately and, uh, you know, that kind of thing. And it sticks with me today. My wife says, your closet is so neat because I hang all my shirts one way and all my pants one way and they're separated and all my socks are folded one way, you know. <laughs> well, I know I have a grandson that's uh, right now is in his... Uh, sophomore, soon to be a, a, a junior at Auburn in the Naval ROTC, which he, whenever he graduates, he'll be commissioned as, a, as an officer in the Navy. And I think he gets his, his desire for that from me just in talking with him. And, but I think uh, any advice that I could give would be if you're looking for something that's rewarding, if you're looking to serve your country, and if you're looking to uh, advance yourself and have educational opportunities uh, to where you can do something whenever you get out of the military later on, that I strongly advise you to, to enlist in the military. I wouldn't change anything. I'd do it tomorrow, <laughs> if, if I could. <laughs> Congratulations to William Howe, our Veteran of the Month for January. We'd also like to thank American Legion Post 45 for helping with the selection process. This is Gary Smith of Randy Smith Funeral Home in Sylacauga.